Okay, so we have uh, a lot of th work to do because we were yapping about Fire Punch. But we have Lazy versus uh, Zanillite, I think is his name. Here. Lazy starting out with his main, starting out strong with uh, Ice Beam. Now the Ice Beam, of course, gets a pulley on a lot of mileage because he can just slide across it. And I'm gonna psych Zanillite into a shield and he gets a grab. Lazy is like one. I uh, know. I thought a pull down was slow. Lazy is a pull down is not slow. It just goes right in really fast. Uh, I just get a hit, but uh, is this gonna finish it? That finish it. Lazy taking this round one with Napoleon's incredible penguin power. I still he's got Umbre- uh, Nespion. It's a pretty good support. Decided not to use Cubone this time, maybe because he didn't like a last round. Alright, so that Ice Beam is a killer. Uh, and Hyper Beam is if you don't duck it. I don't actually know if Napoleon has a duck. Uh, but anyway, if you don't have duck, shield and Hyper Beam. Like that. And punch it! There you go! Alright, he's around low on HP. I probably pop that Umbreon, but that's too late now. Could have showed it would have. I did not actually know Zanilla had V2, so this is pretty fascinating. Okay, what's going on here? That's not gonna work! Oh! <laughs> Alright, but Lazy is not taking this. He's taking his HP back, but he gets countered and loses his Emperor Penguin. Everybody run up around against Napoleon according to Sky Raisin. Lazy's back to Suicune. I don't know how this matchup really goes. I just know Suicune is slow, especially in situations like this versus the corner. Uh, he's doing pretty good mileage. Uh, Zanillite was very smart in saving his burst power from Yuzu, who cannot get burst without some kind of help or something around. Uh, is this gonna... Oh no! So Mewtwo's iframes are going to save him from anything Lazy could've done, as far as I can tell. Uh, however, Zanillite still only has one HP. So Lazy says they land one more hit in this shield phase, or dual, or not. He got HP back. I was not paying attention. I'm a fool. Okay, now he's gotta land one more hit. So no, like counters a lot of this stuff because you counter 90% of so he can stuff just not easily. Some of it's very easy though. And uh, Lazy is now up and one round away from taking this. Or yeah. Nilite has Machamp, and if I'm not mistaken, he kinda knows he's doing as Machamp because he's Sky Reason's friend, and Sky Reason is over here coaching. However, that does not work. Please so get some good mileage off of this water attack. Okay, he's still got another backup Pokemon in case this tanks. I don't know how I feel about him saving his uh, burst, however, his last. Um, Oh, is that gonna take it? That's gonna take the round! Okay, Zanilla is going to close combat his way to victory, and Lazy now has full synergy and a Lucario? Which isn't bad. Lucario probably could've got a synergy by himself, but hey. Alright, Lazy spends a lot of time charging up an R Sphere. Probably could've... Anyways, is it like, uh, homing aerials with Mario in the field? Uh, Lazy trying to play pretty safe. Alright, Zinelli got burst. Mario got burst. Okay. Bone Rush, I think, is punishable if you option select, but he did not do that. And I believe Close Combat has just enough start for Lazy to get away with the thing. Or it's a weak thing, I don't know. But that worked. How often do I see an Espeon versus an Espeon? Okay, so Zanillite will counter Lazy's earlier burst with his own burst. And uh, this is still in Lazy's favor, just a tad. However, uh, Machamp can bring this back at any second because A, he's enraged, and B, his attack's do stupid amounts of damage. 
leads to the corner. All, okay. Um, it, pro tip, if you block that and counter it, the last hit of close combat, you got this. But he does not, and Zanillite will take the game with a homing aerial from Machamp. Yeah, and to be fair, Lucario's counter is so weird that you can jump over it. I would have been scared.